So this time around the question comes from Roberta and she asks, do you believe in same-sex marriage? And the answer, of course, is yes, I believe in it. It's happening. It's like asking if you believe in trees. There are trees, whether or not you agree with trees. Trees are going on. People of the same gender are getting married. So, so we're way past the point of whether or not you believe in it. And in fact, if somebody says they don't believe in something that's clearly happening in the world, they're showing a level of denial that means they really need some love themselves. That's not the question. The, the question is not, do you believe in it, but do you agree with it? Do you celebrate it? And the answer, of course, for me is, yes, of course I do. I believe in same-sex marriage. I celebrate same-sex marriage. I'm in favor of same-sex marriage because I celebrate, I am in favor of, I am a champion of love. And when two consenting adults decide that they want to stand up for love, that their love deserves a public announcement, then of course I'm going to be the first one in line to celebrate that right along with them. We need a little bit more of that. I have made it my mission in life to go all over the place, anywhere I can, and tell people that what they need to do is be honest. What they need to do is find a truth inside of them, a passion, a love, a fire inside of them, and share that with the rest of the world. The world is a better place when you and I can be honest. That's the secret to all of this. The very first wedding ceremony I ever did happened to be one for two people of the same gender. And I've done a lot more since then. If you've ever been to a wedding that I've done, you've heard me say some version of this idea. There's nothing magic that I do just because I have a robe or a tie or whatever on, just because we have candles or rings or whatever. There's nothing magic that I do that makes you somehow in love. That love is something you brought with you. That love is the truth about you and me and everyone else. That love is already the one and only presence and power in the universe. But when you have that kind of a feeling inside of you, it is appropriate, it is important, it is vital that you do something about it. Because, you know, it's great to have beliefs on the inside, but you got to stand up. That's when the magic happens. And so the purpose of the wedding ceremony is for all of us to stand up together and celebrate two people saying, I mean it, this is real. I stand for love. And everyone who feels that within them deserves the ability to do it. The world deserves our honesty. The world deserves our love. That's how the change happens. And you know, if your belief system, if your idea of how the universe works, if your idea of what marriage is is so fragile that it can be damaged by two consenting adults deciding to be honest with themselves and the world, then maybe it's time to reevaluate your belief system. Maybe you need a hug. Take all of that hate and all of that fear and do something productive with it. You know what? If you don't agree with this, that's okay. Just stop hating. Go do something productive. Go volunteer somewhere. Go teach somebody how to read. Go balance your checkbook. Go do something positive with it. Because all hate and fear does is keep you on the wrong side of history. And it's time for all of us to move on. It is time for all of us to stand up for love. I happen to be straight. My wife and I have been married for more than 20 years and we've got the whole leave it to beaver thing. We got the house and we got two kids, we got a goofy dog, we got the whole thing. And you know what? Everybody deserves that if that's what they want. And I don't bring up my rampant heterosexuality to, uh, to divide, but rather uh, quite the opposite. Guys, this isn't a straight issue and this isn't a gay issue. This is a human issue. And if you happen to be a human being, you know what side to stand up for. It is time for you and me to stand up for love. That's it. Thank you for asking your questions. They mean so much. Thank you for sharing my answers with the rest of the world. And most of all, thank you for going to facebook.com slash Randolph and clicking on that like button. It means a lot. Take care of yourself.